Howdy folks, welcome to Lou's House. If you've never uh, joined me before, this is Spontaneous Worship and a Word and the verse of the day. And it's very early up here in the Sierra Nevada mountains by Yosemite with all these wildfires going on. It's been a smoky mug up here and it's very uh, apocalyptic feeling and I'm just thankful I haven't been one of the ones evacuated as of yet and you know prayers out to all those affected worse than me by this fire but the Lord is moving in all this folks and I would just encourage you guys today before I get into the worship of the word here to read Revelation, read Daniel, read the Gospels and all of Jesus's prophetic words and be discerning unto yourself, lean not on your own understanding but read these books and uh, the Bible says the next time the world is destroyed, it's going to be by fire. Now, I'm not saying that's these fires in California. It's most likely something different. Uh, but you never know, folks. And I don't think it is but because a lot of the things have yet to happen in Revelation as I read and understand. And I'm just going to encourage you all to do the same. And lean not on your own understanding. But if you read these things in the Bible and the Holy Spirit, you're a chosen child of God, he's going to reveal to you in all the reading and listening of Revelation and, and Daniel's prophecies and Jesus' prophecies and the Gospels. I just encourage you folks to read and listen to the Word of God. And especially Revelation right now, given everything that's going on, and Revelation offers a special blessing that no other book of the Bible offers, and it's it's if you to those who read or hear the words of this book and follow by them, got to listen and be obedient, folks, and follow. Uh, but yeah, there is a special blessing to those who read and hear the words of Revelation and follow the precepts that are within. And so as the little bit of the John the Baptist in me is going to tell you folks right now, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And I tell myself this too. I've been up since early. The Lord's been working on my heart today. It's been a heavy heart. I've been in prayer. And, uh, you know, I just pray for my children this morning and I pray for their mothers. And, you know, I just pray for myself that there would be healing and restoration and that veils would be lifted in the spiritual realm, and that strongholds would be broken, and that strongholds would come down in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare, in the power of the name of Jesus, and the power of Yahweh, and the Holy Spirit working. With all these fires, folks, I want some Holy Spirit fire. How about you guys? And I'm feeling the Holy Spirit fire working in me. And we are not ever done until God takes us from this earth. We're being sanctified. We're being justified. We've been justified in the blood of Christ. We're being sanctified daily. And any of you who think you've arrived, just look at Paul. And, you know, there's a lot of ministries out there that I follow they call out a lot of evil stuff. And I've done it myself in my ministry. And there's nothing wrong with this, I think. You know, if we are in truth and in love as best we can be, and, you know, there's a time to stand up, folks. When the enemy's coming against you, the, the Scripture says stand against the enemy. We don't lay down. We don't back down. When the fight is ripe, when it's spiritual, when it's your family, when it's your loved ones and the enemy's coming up against them and you and the enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy you and your family and sift your children and your, your family, you got to pray. you got to stand up and resist the devil, it says, and he will flee from you. We need to resist, folks. We can't be milquetoast Christians. We can't just... Walk the sidelines of this spiritual battle. we got to get in there in prayer and fasting and supplication. All of us, folks. And uh, that's just my word. Lean not on your own understanding. 
but every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Now, I'm just going to get into these last couple of days now uh, and worship to the Word, and, you know, we'll see what happens. I hope the Holy Spirit, Father God, just let your Holy Spirit be here with me this morning and move and be a Holy Spirit fire in me and just move in my heart, Lord, that I may be changed. Move in my son's hearts. Move in my ex-wife in her heart, Lord, that the veils may be lifted and that her heart would be changed, Lord, and that the truth would just be revealed to her and that you would just be with her right now, this morning, Lord, and do a mighty work in her and my children and just be with them, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. 